Drummond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Canada today has updated its Hong Kong travel advice to their citizens, stating you may be at increased risk of arbitrary detention on national security grounds and possible extradition to mainland, mainland China. Will the Foreign Office be changing our advice, and can he assure me that we, along with our international partners, will continue to speak out against this violation of Hong Kong's autonomy? Can I thank the Honourable Lady and welcome all the work that she's done on human rights? I think she's right to draw attention to the specific issue of extraterritoriality. Uh, it's not clear, given the opaque way in which it's drafted uh, in the national security legislation, how that is intended to be applied. Um, we will take a very close look at it. We keep our travel advice under constant review, and I, and I hope she's had the positive reassurance, given the statement made by 27 members in the UN Human Rights Council, that we are working actively, energetically, with all of our international partners to be very clear that China must live up to its international obligations when it comes to the people of Hong Kong. Mr. Carmi. 